guys, they are here. Pokemon 151 in Japanese. Oh man, these cards just came out this week and we're gonna open them up today and take a look at them. And in honor of Pokemon 151, uh, we're gonna do something special on the channel. This is gonna be our first giveaway and I'm giving away these promo cards So we'll take a look at them in just a second I just don't imagine a lot of people opening up these cards the Pokemon 151 Here's the entire set on this poster, but I just don't know what I don't imagine a lot of people opening up These ones in Japanese to get this promo card. So I want to give them to one of my subscribers three-step process here like the video Subscribe obviously so you're one of my subscribers and then leave a comment below We're gonna open up a lot of cards today And so just let me know which one was your favorite that we opened up on the channel together. All right, there's that file Sleeve booklet. We're gonna take a look a little closer look at these because they're awesome So the 151st Pokemon is Mew. So rightfully so he is featured on these packs Let's get a let's put these down and just take a look at this one right here uh, but yeah, Mew is featured on him, and then all the other Pokemon are in the silhouettes, and you gotta love the Japanese writing on those. That makes it look so cool. Alright, here are the promo cards that I'm giving away. Here's Charmander, and you can see the Pokeball reflections on the back. That is because they did rarity for these, so like there's a normal Pokeball, and then there's a Master Ball. Alright, and then we're gonna get into this Bulbasaur right here. So here's the Bulbasaur promo card. And then our fan favorite, the Squirtle, he, I get it, he looks so good. And Blastoise in this set looks sweet, he really does. Here we go, the Booster Packs. Oh yes, we're gonna get into it. So, I these packs are different, they do feel different. They, as you can tell, they're a lot stronger. But the top of it is a lot thicker, so it's just harder to grab onto. So I know that people open these up with scissors a lot, and, and with good reason. These things are, these definitely are thicker uh, and harder to open than our normal packs that you can just pop open pretty easily. Here they are, and we, okay, this is my first Japanese set ever, so we gotta just appreciate the backs. These are different from the English, English cards, so the back, I like them better on Japanese. And here he is, the Machop. That is our first Pokemon we're starting with. You just gotta appreciate that artwork, you really do. And the seal, like, look at that. He is just, he's asleep on the ice, the tongue out. Just, that is such a nice piece of art. That is so good. Oh, and the Abra sitting next to the rock. You normally see him floating in the air. So that is a different view of an Abra. I like it. Here is our reverse hollow. And you can see, I'll just sh shine it with, so you can see the Pokeballs on there. But that tentacool, he looks really good. Oh, and there's our holographic, a Dodrio. That is nice. Okay, so that's where our holographic is. We follow it with a Cloyster and then a Dugtrio. So the Cloyster Dugtrio, that is two from the back that we need to do. So now we know our card trick and we can do that. Let's see if this pack opens up pretty easily. I had a kind of a hard time. It's not, I just don't want to mess up these cards. All right, you know what? We're going to flip this thing over. Yeah. See that bottom? The bottom right here is not as thick as the top. Okay. So that was a little bit easier. They're still really hard to grip. I Opening these things up by hand is kind of a pain. All right. Oh, here we go. Pack number two. And here we go. Did it work? Yeah. All right. We see the Parasect from the beginning. So at least our hollow is not the one that's shown. Oh, the apple, that is leftovers. I don't know Japanese, but I know that is leftovers. We get our, our shelter, and then that is a Jigglypuff. Our Magmar, nice. Oh, this is our reverse hollow. It's just the Pokeball, so no Master Ball yet, but the Nidoran male looks really sweet. And that is an awesome holographic. It is our Gengar. Wow, he looks like he's just about to Bolt. He looks like he's up to some shenanigans running away. <laughs> that is really cool. Really happy with that Gengar. All right, so let's try this bottom again. See if this thing works. And it's just not, I can't get a good grip. It's not wanting to open. A few moments later. I'm back, I got some scissors so we can actually open this thing up. I just didn't want to use scissors right away because I was a little bit worried about messing up these cards. So as long as we make sure that the cards are out of the way, I think we'll be fine. 
because <laughs> I would literally cry inside if uh, the cards accidentally got cut. If I cut the cards, that would be really, really bad. All right, so here we go. Ah, back from that. I hope that break wasn't too long for you guys. All right, we've got that. That was like spitting poison, that gold bat. That looks really good. The Bulbasaur, this Bulbasaur is different than the promo. So just so you know, that Bulbasaur was different. We get the non-reverse hollow of him, the Ponyta. Wow, that's a really good looking Ponyta. It really is. Oh, that is such a nice looking Venomoth. Wow. And we get our first EX card. It is the Jinx. She is puckered up and ready to smooch you. Wow. That is that is a pretty good looking Jinx. For not my favorite Pokemon in the world, that's a pretty good looking EX card, if I do say so myself. So that's pretty cool. Jinx is one of 12 EX cards, like the standard EX cards. The final evolution of the starter Pokemon are in EX. And then one of the legendary birds, just as Zapdos, is in an EX. And then they've got a handful of random ones. Oh, the Lapras. Guys, is it bad if I'm more excited for the Lapras than the Jinx EX? That is Daisy Oak, if you did not know that. I had to look up who she was. I was not sure. So Daisy Oak is actually the granddaughter of Professor Oak. I did not know that. So that's new. Weeping Bell. Oh, the Haunter. That is a really good looking Haunter. It matches the Gengar really, really well. So that's awesome. And then our good luck Chansey. I don't know what this card says. I don't know what the ability is, but somebody online said that this card is actually pretty good. So I'll just trust them on that because uh, I can't read the cards. Moving into our last pack. Uh, well, not the last pack for the day, thank goodness, because we do have the other file sleeve. The file deck? The thing with the files that you store the Pokemon in. I don't know, even know what they call it. But yeah, we've got another one of those. So here we go on our last pack. Don't know what I was really doing there, but here we go. The Hypno. Put this hand out like tiptoeing down the hall. That is funny. Uh, I actually don't know what that is. So, all right, the Porygon. Nice. That looks like it was like from Pokemon Snap or something. Just a picture of it. The Vulpix. The Tangela, that's looking really good. Oh, that is a sweet reverse hollow. The Staryu, wow. Oh, yes, the Mewtwo, guys. The Mewtwo is awesome. Wow, look at this guy. Arms out, he's just like, I will destroy everything. Look at this guy. He's like, bring it on, bro. I will take you all down. That is so nice. Here we go, guys, the next set. This one is featuring the final evolution of the starter Pokemon. And I've got to say, hands down, we actually don't need this poster. Hands down, this one looks so much better than the Pokeball version of it. So, uh, let's take a closer look at our Charizard and our Venusaur. We do not see the Blastoise on this. So I'm assuming he's on this backside. Yeah, there he is. All right, yes, looking so much better than the Pokeball we saw earlier. All right, another quick look at our promo cards. So we see the Squirtle and then our Charmander. And then last but not least, we see the Bulbasaur. Those are awesome promo cards. Five booster packs, five more, here we go. All right, well, we know the pack trick. We uh, have got the scissors. So this is gonna be a lot better than our first box. At least opening them, we've got it all down. We're good to go. Here we go. And we start out with a Sea King. Nice. The Nidorino. Wow. I like the Nidorino and the Nidoran as dark type Pokemon. They just look really good. The Ratata. We had a few duplicates there. Oh, this is a duplicate, but we get it in a reverse hollow. And it's the Pokemon edition. Oh, that is sweet. That one, that Starmie goes really well with the Staryu. I think the Staryu's artwork is a little bit better, but it looks like they were drawn by like the same person because the artwork matches so well. It's kind of like the Gengar and the Haunter. Those ones match too. All right. So here, let's see what we get out of pack number two. Oh, these cards look so nice. And if you're wondering, the cards themselves, 
they're like silky. They, they're a little bit like thinner. I don't know. I like the feel of these cards. Hey, Hunter, we were just talking about you. Wow, that is a really good Hitmonchan. Like really good looking Hitmonchan. Oh, that horsey, that water is so clear. So nice. You gotta love the slowpoke just laying there, hanging out. The Kakuna, two Kakuna in that one, looking good. Oh, the Sandshrew. And it's a Pokeball. You see the Pokeballs there. But this one is a little underrated of a Pokemon. Oh, we get a Moltres. Wow, that is a good looking bird. That is. He's a, he's doing like a corkscrew spin on there. Uh, the flames are coming off his wings. That's pretty cool. That's a nice design. Uh, still sad that they did not give Moltres and Articuno a, um, an EX version. So, but that's still a pretty good looking Moltres right there. Nice. Okay, scissors make this so much easier. Honestly, lesson learned, guys. Always open up the Japanese cards with a pack of scissors. Open up the Japanese packs with a pair of scissors. All right, we started out with the Kingler right there. Oh, pincer. I wish he was like chopping down the tree with his pincers. Ooh, the Krabby to go with the Kingler. That is nice. And that Magnemite. Don't like those kind of cards. It almost looks like a picture of him. Oh, we get our illustration rare. That's our first illustration rare. The Omni. You even see like the Kabuto swimming in there and the Alma Star. Wow. That's a pretty cool looking illustration rare. Happy with that. Oh, and a Gyarados. There we go. Pretty cool. Pretty good illustration there. But this Gyarados. I am a big fan of Gyarados. He is awesome. And then, okay, guys, big question here. This one, the 151 version of Gyarados or Paldea Evolved? Because I'm leaning towards this one. I thought Paldea Evolved looked pretty cool, but this one looks like, that one looks really, really good. Still exciting stuff coming out of these packs. All right, the Tentacruel. That one's actually really cool. All right, the Trio again. A Porygon again, Seal again, Clefairy, that's a new one. Vulpix, we get the reverse hollow of this. And that one's just a Pokeball. Oh my goodness! Oh my gosh! Yes, guys, the Blastoise! The Blastoise looks so good! Honestly, one of my favorite EX. The Mew is my favorite out of the standard EX, but this Blastoise. This thing looks so good. I'm really happy with that Blastoise. That is so good. Uh, his illustration rare, he's like deep sea diving. It looks really good. So, wow. And we're on our last pack. Oh, sad to see this end here. Okay, so we did get an EX. We got the illustration rare out of these. That's pretty good. So this box was better than our last one. Let's see if we can end with a really good pull here. All right, here we go. Well, guys, good news is these are not our last Japanese cards. We still have some more for another day. The Dugon, nice. Voltorb, <laughs> that Otis is in a pot. Okay, Metapod. Mankey, oh, and that is a sweet looking Mankey with like the sunset and the Pokeballs right there. That is awesome. And we end with another Mewtwo. Oh, this is a Mewtwo kind of day, guys. You know what? For that subscriber, I'm gonna throw in this Mewtwo. So you get the promo cards and this Mewtwo. And he's like, I will destroy you. Well guys, that was an awesome day. I hope you found one that you really liked. Make sure you leave that in the comment section below. My favorite card from the day was definitely that Blastoise EX. Awesome looking card. We have more Pokemon 151 coming up later. Until next time, this is the Poke Umbrella. See you later.